We're back with another add-on video. We're talking about Questy this time. I have done another add-on video on Khalil's Quest Tracker. I use that for retail WoW. This is for classic WoW, hardcore WoW, all that kind of stuff. Questy is an amazing add-on. I'm the Dungeon Coach, and I'm here to help coach you up on your World of Warcraft game, make it more efficient, more fun, all that kind of stuff. I have a ton of videos on add-ons, macros, all that weak auras, all that kind of stuff, and let's get right into it. Uh, this is Questy. It's a super lightweight. It's super clean. It's super light. You can you can barely see it. It just blends in. Uh, it even fades out, and sometimes it's it's very customizable. And you just got to do it once. I'm I'm going to show you how my setup is. If you want to do it, you can just blindly click all the settings I have and do it from there. But there's some really cool things that I think really will help your quality of life questing because, you know, we all just want to level up and be as, as quick, as efficient as possible. So to get to Questy, you're either going to go to Interface Options, Add-ons, Questy, and there's all the options right here, or you can just type slash Questy, and there we go. So uh, the general tool, the general options are going to be the main thing that you want to kind of look at here. Yeah, y'all can see. Um, so icons, these are the icons. You see a mailbox, you see the quest icon, all that kind of stuff. Also, side note, this map is not the default map. It is sexy map. Uh, I have a video on that as well. But anyway, uh, it's all the different little icons and stuff you can see. You can also see if we move this thing over. Uh, you can, these are all these different icons, all the little bags and all the little spots. That, and they, they put all these arrows all over the place to kind of show you where stuff is. That's what we're talking about here. So you obviously want to enable those icons. So now these top five options here are important. Enable map icons is talking about these map icons, right? You, you, you probably want to enable those. Uh, enable mini map icons is talking about the ones on this mini map right here. You probably want to enable those. Obviously, it's not going to take out the mailbox or flight path. That has nothing to do with quests. But whenever there's actual quests involved there, or the little gear icons, the loot something, or the bag icon to, to kill something, or a kill icon to kill something, and the bag icon is to loot something off of an enemy you kill. But you get the idea. Um, you can hide unexplored area of stuff. So you see here on the map how there's these things in these unexplored area uh, of these places that have not been yet. You can disable that, turn it off, keeps your map a little bit more clean uh, if you have if you have that turned off, right? Uh, for the hide unexplored areas. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So um, I like to um, uh, keep keep them shown. I want to see everything. And I, I'm really screwing with the add-on because I keep turning things on and off and it'll keep updating itself. Um, hide icons of untracked quest. If you only want to show the icons of things you're tracking, then you can turn this on and it will only show you the quest items or the quest log over here, the things you're specifically tracking those quests it'll only show you icons for quests that you're tracking. In general, for myself, I track all quests, I do them all, and I kinda, you know, go through go through the process there. Uh, so I un uncheck this, but if you have like, I'm going to do these three, and then I'm gonna log off, you can activate that check mark, only track the ones you're looking for, and you can handle it that way. I think that's another viable option. Uh, and the rest of these are just enabling specific things. Quest icons, uh, loot icons, PvP icons, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, this, whenever you complete a quest, you can have it play a, a song of some kind. You can have it uh, say something. Uh, default troll mail. You can have it You can have it say some sort of sound uh, whenever you complete a quest. I, in general, do not do that. Uh, even quest objectives and all that kind of stuff. I'm just kind of doing it. I obviously know when it's done. I don't need an alert. So so I, I'm not a big fan of that, but I've, I've seen people like that. Uh, and then enable minimap button. That's obviously you want to have a minimap button. Uh, instant quest text. Yes, you, you. whenever I click on a quest, it does not do the slow writing thing. It immediately pops the quest text up, auto accepts it, auto complete, all of that quick snappy stuff. So you just click on there and you're good to go. If you ever get to a quest where you do want to read it or you don't want it to go instant fast, you just hold down shift and then you can you now have that not be a thing, right? So done. Super simple. Uh, you can even activate the show quest in the low level range. If you're trying to do uh, lead up quests for a certain quest chain and you're too high of a level, you can turn this on and it'll show you low level quests. For myself, I am just leveling. I don't want to do low level quests, so I'm, I'm fine with that uh, being off. Uh, and there you go. And you can you can even set the minimum level offsets and you can get real specific with it. So anyway, uh, that's all the general options. Then you go to social and this is the add on that most people know because you're in a party with somebody and they complete a quest and it says, oh, it completed a quest and it has this whole chat box of like they completed it eight out of eight. They killed all the boars, whatever. Right. Um, you can shut that up <laughs> if you want to. Uh, and you can also limit it to where it announces it. Right. Uh, raid, party, disable, both, all that kind of stuff. You can choose how uh, broadcasty you want to be with this. Again, if you like if you want to if you want to copy my settings and go from there, just click all the stuff you see on the screen and you're good. Um, I don't want to tell people when I abandoned or, or all that kind of stuff. Request uh, objective completed. 
That's all I want to know. And I started, I, uh, item starts a quest, objective completed. I want to know that in my chat, everything else I'm fine with. Um, share quest project with nearby players, sure. And then done. Now, next two options are mini map and map. The mini map is this mini tiny map and the map is this one, just if anyone's confused with that. So mini map, it has all these different options. Uh, this is in general what I do. You have fade objectives, you have a scale of these things, the different, all the different icons, done. Uh, player coordinates on the mini map, I already have sexy map, have player coordinates, so we're good there. Then when you go to the map, all the same stuff, same kind of button options, and you have all the different uh, size of these things, how big you want these things to be. You can scale them down real small. It really depends on the size of your screen uh, that you're playing on, honestly. Um, player coordinates, all that kind of stuff. So there's that, that's where that is. Some of these features might overlap with other add-ons you have, and if you don't have that feature through this, then use it through this, and this really does accomplish a lot. Um, this next part is honestly the next, the most important part here. Um, you can do a lot of things to make this look a little bit different here. So if you notice, whenever I hold, I hold my cursor. In fact, I'll go over this. So auto track quests. I like that because as soon as I get a quest, it tracks it for me. It automatically puts it on my tracker, uh, and I can and I can uh, track and see it very easily. Now, if I if I press this button here, I have a key bound to pull this up. Um, I have a whole lot of videos on key binds as well. Uh, so all of these are tracked and you can track a quest by shift clicking it, right? You just hold down shift and click it and you can track all these different quests, right? And whenever you click on it, it pops it up over here and it puts it in this little key log over here. Cool. So how I like to do it is I like for it to auto track all my quests. So as soon as I accept the quest, it starts tracking it for me. Cool. If you don't like that, unclick it. Uh, show quest level. I do like it to show the show the quest level, so I know what's going on. 18, 19. Ooh, these are green, but how green? Or ooh, this is 25. Oh, I'm only 22. Okay, you know what I'm saying. I, I do like to show the quest level. Uh, high completed quest objectives. That's what this looked like. You can see this over here. Uh, completed quest objectives like the like it, this here. So I have Deep Moss Creeper six out of ten. Deep Moss Venom Spitter seven out six out of seven. If I were uh, to turn this on and have this activated, it says hide completed quest objectives. Once I kill that seventh one here, this would disappear, right? And this would no longer be seen and it would only show that. So I think that's kind of cool. I guess maybe that, and even just kind of talking about right now, I do kind of like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play around with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep that turned on so that I just the quest log gets smaller and smaller. I kind of like the vision of that. So we're cool. Uh, show blizzard timer. Uh, that's, that's usually for things that have a timer on it. Few quests have that. Um, minimizing combat. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm in combat for something, it does kind of fade out and minimize. Yep. Uh, and this is how you minimize it too. If you left click on these things, you can minimize this whole thing and hide the whole thing. Or in Stone Talon Mountains, left click on that, minimize Stone Talon Mountains. Left click brings it back up. Barons, Thunderbluff, I can I can turn on and off as much of this as I want, right? Um, and as you just saw, if I hold down shift and press click, I hold that I can actually unshare those as, or untrack those as well from this menu very, very quickly instead of having to pull this menu up and come over here and stuff like that, right? Uh, <clears throat> I also highly recommend uh, key binding on your mouse. <laughs> um, open up map uh, and open up quest log and uh, mount. I usually put that on my, my mouse uh, buttons. Uh, very, very quality of life improvements, right? Um, so fade, fade the minimax buttons. So these buttons right here, the small and go, I, I don't think they're that useful, uh, especially because I have all the things I just showed right here. Though so these little buttons, I hide those and they, you see they fade away. So done. Enable background. I've gone back and forth on this. Um, I don't like that it doesn't have as, as much of a border. You can mess around with some stuff down here and how it looks and all that kind of stuff, but I don't really, it stands out to me too much. I kind of like how it goes there. Now you can fade the background out and then when you hold your cursor over it, it gets black. I've thought about doing that where it's, it stays faded, but whenever I hold my cursor over it, but I, I very rarely am holding my cursor over this thing. So I just have these both set off like that. So it just stays normal, right? Always show tracker, uh, show completed quest. So this quest right here is complete, but if I click this, it takes it off, off entirely uh, for the show completed quest. Uh, and then uh, auto minimize completed quest, that's what I'm talking about, right? Um, so uh, if I show completed quest, it, that, that just kills the whole thing. So I didn't leave that on. Um, auto minimize completed quest. So the completed quest right there, right here, the protect Kaya quest, that is now, it just minimizes it and marks it as complete over here to the side. So that is actually kind of a nice thing to do that it kind of condenses it down just a little bit. So I'm probably gonna leave that one on too, just as I'm talking about it right here. Um, enable active quest uh, headers. Uh, that's this thing up here, this little quest header. I do like to see the quest header so I know how many quests I have and I can also click on it to minimize it like that. So I, I do like that. 
uh, fade quest buttons. Uh, another really nice thing here, and I don't have a quest that does it, but anytime you get a quest from, or an item from a quest that you have to use this water at this well or this cup in this spot or whatever they give you, this wand, whatever it is, uh, they actually hold it here and you can click this and it activates that item. It does a, it uses that item just by clicking it right there so you don't have to worry about looking for your bags for it. Very nice. Um, I, uh, the sizer and all that kind of stuff is all the stuff down here. You can really mess around with the actual tracker itself over here, right? So. Uh, really, the last thing is nameplates. Uh, on the nameplates, it'll show a loot icon. It'll show a sword icon. The same icons that match up to the things on your map to show, hey, this thing has loot. This thing has something you're looking for. I really like that. Um, for myself, the icon was a little bit off on the x-axis and y-axis. So all you got to do is go to one mob that has that bag, the first one you see. Oh, there we go. Hold up. Questing nameplates. And you can kind of move it around a little bit to put it in a spot that's not like clipping onto anything stupid uh, but this works for me uh, same thing for target frames whenever as far as your your whenever you pull up the the icon down here whenever you target something uh, it pulls up on there now I have uh, shadow unit frames I use for that so I, I don't worry about that too much I don't mess around with this at all but this is what I have for it uh, DBM HUD done with that tool tips this is all the things I put on for the tool tips of any sort of things where I'm, you know, you hold your cursor over stuff, things that pop up uh, and things on the actual quest logs and then advanced. I don't mess around with most advanced things in add-ons to try and keep it nice and simple uh, for myself and for you guys. So there's the breakdown of Questy. I hope you like it. I hope this helps. I hope this helps your questing journey. Uh, I also do use um, rested XP as far as for questing purposes. Uh, it's super nice. It puts a little arrow on your screen and goes to that. It is a paid thing like that. So there's that. Again, it's not sponsored. I don't have a link of any kind. Uh, but those are my two big things I use for questing right now. Uh, and if you've stayed this long in the video and you want to check out uh, some journeys that'll be going on, I am going to be playing Hardcore Classic. Uh, if you want to come jump on, check that out. And if you like what I'm doing, you want to see more and support what we're doing here, you can always check out stuff on Patreon uh, and Discord. So stay creative. Thank you. I said the box. Peace.